Good morning, ladies. Welcome back to Linda's Romper Room. Mm. Excuse me, I got a kind of squeaky, squeaky noise. Squeaky noise, squeaky voice. There. <laughs> is this an indication of what my day is going to be like? I don't know. I wanted to come on quickly. Do a short video. Yes, I will keep it short. And just show you all this cuteness of this little girl. This is what I took her in to my place of worship yesterday. And uh, everybody was ooing and eyeing. And we had a visiting speaker and he never questioned that she wasn't a real baby. And we had a real baby there, which is three months old already. And she was a lot bigger than Katie here. But look at the details on this outfit. Just uh, beautiful with the bit mauve lace, mauve knit, mauve bow. And she's sleeping pretty good, but this little booger wants to wake her up. She just keeps trying to wake her up, and I keep saying, no, no, Marigold, you cannot wake her up. Marigold got a pacifier last night, and a little more stuffing to help her uh, sit up a little bit better. I found that the key to keeping their heads up is, uh, don't put much weight, Don't well, don't put any weight at all and just don't stuff their head too much with polyfill either but it's still kind of a challenge to get them posed but I also want her to be cuddly and she is I like to hold her so yeah so we struggled yep the struggle is real putting magnets in pass passies on a baby I don't like it I don't know what the trick is to not get glue all over you. This time I used the Gorilla Gel. Yes, that was a lot better. <laughs> I wore gloves and I still got it on me. <laughs> I'm doing good to keep it off of the baby. So I am not a pacifier girl, really, and I don't like putting them in, but I have a lot of magnets and I thought, it would be nice to have her with the pacifier, so I did that. Someone came up to me yesterday, too, and said, I just want you to know that I think it's wonderful that your husband supports you and lets you be yourself with bringing your baby, you know, to the meeting. He, she goes, I just can't believe he supports you so well. And I'm like, well, he didn't always support me that well, bringing the babies to our congregation meetings. First, he started out letting me take them to the large conventions, which were three to 5,000 people, I would guess. And the crowds bothered me. So he's like, okay, let's try it. And so I would bring one with me there and it would help ground me and keep me okay. And after a lot of convincing, he let me bring my babies to the Kingdom Hall. Um, at first he was really worried that the kids would think it was a toy, but I'm like, kids are gonna know better. And the kids just think it's a baby and they're fascinated by it. Um, we don't have a lot of little kids we have a lot of older ones, so yeah, but there is this young young person there who is autistic and he just melts my heart because he'll come up and he'll ask their name and I said, this, this is Katie, Katie Bug. And he says, and you have um, a Piper too, a Piper? And what is the other baby's name? I'm like, Jasmine. He goes, oh, yes, Jasmine. I bet you that every baby I bring there, he is going to be able to remember their names. He is so, so smart. 
and he's like, don't you drive a blue Honda Odyssey? And I'm like, yeah, I do. Where have you seen that? Because my husband typically takes his Suburban. And then I was like, oh, his Suburban was broke down one day. You must have seen him in it. And he goes, yeah. He saw me. And he remembered that. He remembers everything. It's like he's got a photographic memory. But, like, he came up to me and he goes, oh, is that one of your babies that helps you with anxiety, right? And I'm like, yes. It's <laughs> still so cute. And um, I have a friend who's expecting a baby. It's going to be another boy, though. But she held her for a little bit to get that little baby feeling, you know. She wanted a girl so bad. I think I'm going to have to make her a baby girl. And then get the hair rooted and gift it to her. <laughs> so she will always have her little baby girl. So, I can't part with Katie Bug. Katie Bug looks just like my daughter as a baby. So, she's special. My new baby is special because she looks like my granddaughter. And, yeah. And I'm so glad Marigold didn't go anywhere. I am, um, at the moment, I'm glad that Marigold is still here. So I'm going to say goodbye, ladies. I hope you have a great rest of the week. Um, I'm just waiting for Monica to give me the go-ahead. I think tomorrow, maybe, we will be twinning on Tuesday. So we'll see how that goes. And yes, I am doing this video from the comfort of my bedroom in my big comfy bed before I start my day because my husband is home all the time. And... I can hear him sometimes make a noise in the next room. So y'all take care, keep calm, play with your dolls. I've been saying that for eight years, but I mean it. Keep calm and play with your dolls. That's what this is all about.